Okay, now it's time to get the dog in the, in the cage. So food is gonna work in this uh, situation. He's very, very hungry. So therefore, we should be able to get him in, in the cage to take him to the vets. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I feel terribly guilty over this. I feel absolutely awful doing this, but it's the best for the for the dog because at the end of the day, I'm going back to England for three months, and my wife's going back to the to the farm. So therefore, the, this little dog, if he left all on its own, he'd just starve to death. And we're going to show you the dogs that use well beat him up. So as you can see, he's scared a bit. But when all said and done, it's for the best reasons and it's for the best thoughts. He's been a good dog. We're getting him some sausages before he goes to Michelle's home. So, so he's passed all the tests. He's got none of the diseases. He's a healthy dog. Just hungry. So now we're going to give him some food. When somebody goes to the dentist or the doctors and they're good, give them a treat. He's treated some sausages. Look 
with the other dogs. There's five other dogs here and obviously there's going to be a bit of sniffing bums and uh, finding who's the leader of the pack type thing but we already know that. Um, he's had a sniff around the property and he likes it up to now. A big room enough. And he's got a big enough room here so so fingers crossed but if anybody wants to adopt him he's had all the tests done he's He's going to have his reproductive organs removed so he can't have other soy dogs. He's friendly. He's never snarled or barked or anything else like that. He's a fantastic little dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 